Hi friends, this is Laura with Papori of Life. I hope you're having a great day and I hope it's allergy free. The reason I'm saying that here it is mid July and my husband's dealing with allergies. Is it a surprise to me? Nope, never has been. He's always been dealing with allergies. So he came home from work the other night and he's been dealing with this for about three nights and I would get up and because of the coughing and stuff, I would tell him, do this, do that. And my husband is just one of those, he just needs to be reminded to do things. And I just got to the point because he was starting to get sick where he needed medical intervention and he wasn't interested in my herbs. And I really just didn't have anything more for him for natural options to heal what was going on. And I could hear him struggling. He was coughing. I could hear it in his chest. So, I mean, we did a rub on his chest with heat compresses. I had him drink lots of water. And even though his go-to is coffee, I said, the coffee is not going to do this for you. So I said, you're going to need a tea blend. And he fought it. He fought it until Sunday night, Monday morning. I was up already because I had some other things I was trying to get done. I woke up. I went to bed early, so I woke up early and I had things that I just started working on. And he woke up coughing. He says, did I wake you? I said, no. But about half an hour after I left, I said, you started coughing all over again. And I said, you need to do something about that. And so he asked me, he goes, what do you have? I said, I've given you all my options because I do provide um, holistic type, over-the-counter type products for him because that's his preference. And I'm okay with that. I just don't like chemically based items. And so I said, what you need is a cup of tea, you know, and you still need that heat on your chest with the vapor rub of any sort. And yes, I make some, but I also have some from over the counter. So he goes, well, what can you do? I said, are you willing to drink some tea? He goes, oh, don't make me do it. Seriously, that's what he said. And that's what he looked like. He does not like tea at all. So I said, well, I can't help you. I said, tomorrow, make a phone call to the doctor. And I said, and you get in and be seen because right now you need, from what I can see going on with you, you need a countdown steroid. And you and many of you who know me realize that I do not like medications. If we can avoid it, stay healthy, do your best to stay healthy. And he does eat well. He's a healthy guy and he works hard, but his allergies hit him hard. So I made him a tea and I made him drink two cups of it and I made it heavy, heavy dosed. <laughs> and um, he was just like, please don't do this to me. I said, I can't help you anymore and I'm not going to listen to you whining and crying because there's nothing I can do. So if we can do stuff on our own, even while we're waiting to see a physician, that's the best thing you can do because maybe by the time you get there, it won't be so bad. So here I am hearing him wheeze. I hear the congestion in his chest and I, you know, he's doing what he can. So I said, I'm going to make you a tea and you have to drink it. So what I did was I first put in, I've already started in my jar. And the reason I'm making a big jar of it, believe it or not, he asked me, he goes, Laura, would you make me a mix so that I can make my own tea? I was thrilled. So I said, yes, but you got to promise me you'll use it. And so he will. So the first thing I've already put into the jar is this here is a berry mix. So it has some berries and it has the leaves of different berries in here. So that I've already mixed up and put in and I put a quarter cup into this pint size mason jar. That's what in, is in here already. Next, what I'm going to do is I also have a tea blend that I've made that has peppermint, elder flowers, it has rose hips, ginger, anise seed, thyme, yarrow, and calendula. So some of these things I grow and some of them I order in bulk so that I can make a nice batch like this. So if it's just cold and flu and you're not feeling well, you just make a tea with this. And at that point, I'm not in the mood to make a mixture like I made for my husband. And so I'm not, even if I have a mild cold, this tends to help me. So I'm going to put a quarter cup of this in. And you don't have to be perfect about it. All right. The next thing, even though this has time in it, one of the things that I benefited greatly with 
with the onset of line is using time. So I added some time to it. This is what I use for my regular, just one cup of thyme tea. So I'm going to throw a quarter cup of that in. The other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to put some Tulsi. And I bought this in bulk. And I put a quarter cup of this in. Now when I'm making the tea, I just make, um, when I make the tea for him, I just did equal amounts and I made a big batch. So there was quite a bit there. So that's Tulsi tea in here. And then even though my mix has some anise seed, I ended up putting anise um, petal, the whole seed in. And these look like this. Well, that's not a full one, is it? This is what they look like. They're beautiful. They smell like licorice. My husband does not like licorice, so don't tell him it has licorice in it. Licorice has so many benefits because you can also put licorice in it. I don't have any licorice, otherwise I would put that in there. So I would put one of these in each of his cups that he had. But in the event he does not think about that, even though anise seed is in that blend, I'm just going to put in maybe a tablespoon into this blend because it's already in that other one, just to give it a little bit of extra oomph. And then I have the other thing I put in his tea was some red clover. And this is something that came out of my garden this year. I'm so excited. He's going to use it all up on me. So what you do, these are all dried, and you can put the petals in there. Oh, you can't see this. So I just break it apart, and I put it into the container. And I'm going to put in, I put one in for the cup. So I'm going to put about a dozen of these into this mix. So that was three, because I had two there the last time. This is four. Oops, I didn't want the whole one in there. And yes, I washed my hands, so it's okay for me to put my hands in there. Add that in there. And I just keep going. There's a couple here. I'm just going to put another handful here in. So it'll amount to, I don't know, maybe a quarter cup as well. So I now have this cup, this pint-sized jar, oh, it has a different lid, and then I just shake it. It's good arm muscles for those of you who need to make a tea blend. So what I did was I made him, now there's some clumps of that, uh, the clover, the purple clover, so I'm going to just break it up a little bit more and shake it some more. And that's what you do. And you can take a fork to this to break that up. Now, if well, all I'm going to tell him to do is take a tablespoon of this and put it into um, whatever he wants, whether it's a tea bag. I have some organic tea bags that he can put it in, or he can put it into... He might like using this particular tea. Um, thing because this is like a tablespoon you take it and you can put a tablespoon in there and he'll like it because it's kind of fancy and it's new so he might enjoy using that that's all he has to do it has the holes in there the other thing that he will have to do or even myself if my allergies act up because my husband doesn't like tea I enjoy it I like tasting the different herbs and stuff the tea I made him, I put two tablespoons of honey in there. We all know that honey is very medicinal. And the first batch, he says, I don't even taste. I said, I'm not giving you any more honey. Honey is not cheap, but we buy it in, we try to buy it in bulk. And um, so he made the second tea and he only put one in. I said, how many teaspoons of honey did you? Because he was complaining about the taste. He goes, I only put one in. I said, oh, next time put two in. I said, I think you'll enjoy it more. So what else can you do to make tea more flavorful? 
You can use honey. You can use stevia. If it's the green stevia, I don't know if I have some right here. Um, I don't have it right here. I do have a big jar of it. It needs to be green because you want the natural green stevia. And I grew it last year. This year I'm having trouble growing it. But I do have plenty that I can throw into a tea blend. You know, I might even consider putting a quarter cup of stevia in this for him to see if that makes a difference because stevia is good it's a natural sugar but I'll tell him you're not going to need honey so there's so many options that you can do but these are some items that you can put into your own tea blend if you desire for me to make you a batch just let me know no I don't do it for free so you know just know that there's thyme there is Tulsi there is purple clover there's anise seed there is thyme I have my cold flu blend and I have some very berry tea and it does make a very delightful tea now if you want to make this and you're on a budget try to stick with herbs and you can get many of these herbs out of the seasonings at your grocery store you can get them sometimes in big containers and sometimes in the regular seasoning jars so you need some time you can grow time in your garden and then you just dry it for the winter months or the other nice thing is you can just take um, time straight from the plant and put it in that's how I generally drink um, my morning tea is thyme and oregano straight from the plant and I put it in I let it steep and use it so how long did I have him steep this for 12 minutes and then he drank it and he asked for me to make him some he says it made a difference it made such a difference that by the time he got to the doctor he was fortunate he called at nine o'clock in the morning they had a 1040 appointment they got him in that day the doctor didn't hear the wheezing I heard he didn't hear the congestion that he was dealing with but the doctor believed what his experience and so he gave him the countdown steroid and he gave him a newer inhaler giving him the instructions that if this does not help he says well they will reconvene in about three weeks and they will see where else to go from so does this work worked for my husband he does not like herbs and for him to ask me to make him a blend that he can go and make his own tea this is good so I'm gonna call this my respiratory blend tea and I'll put David on it because it works for him and it's just something that if God can give us plants on this earth to use to benefit our health then that's the direction I'm gonna go but I also believe in allopathic medicine and I do believe that sometimes we need um, pharmaceuticals to kind of help things along so I hope this was informative I hope that you know that you may consider something like this. Reach out if you have any questions, and I hope that your afternoon is allergy-free and also a wonderful day. May God bless you. Enjoy.